Hello, everyone. I'm Hannah. And I'm Rob. And uh, welcome back to another 10 minute British English podcast. Uh, how are you today, Rob? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you? I'm well, thank you. I have got a really strange song stuck in my head. Tell me all about it, please. <laughs> I would love to tell you about it. Have you heard of the singer Chapel Roan? I don't think so, no. Please tell me about them. Oh, right. She's kind of come out of nowhere. She has suddenly become very, very famous. And she's a pop singer. I'm not really into pop, but she's great. And I can't stop listening to her songs. But <laughs> the song that I'm obsessed with is actually, it's one of her songs, but it's a cover. So someone else sings it. Mm. But you're never going to guess who sings it. I think you better tell me. I, I, could, I could go on for <laughs> hours guessing. So one of my friends shared a video, and it's, it's an AI cover of a Chapel Roan song. And this cover is sung. It's an AI singer. It's Plankton from SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> I was not going to guess that. <laughs> so do you know his voice? Can you imagine his voice? His voice is kind of like, hi, a bit like that. No, I, th I think you're going to have to do a bit of a performance so I, can, <laughs> uh, so I can place it in my head, please. Well, I'm absolutely not going to do that. But um, <laughs> I, I recommend searching for um, AI Plankton Pink Pony Club. It's the best song I've heard in so long. I feel like it's miles better than the original. Right. I love the original, but his version, all of the comments on the video are saying like, why is this so emotional? Yeah. How is he so passionate? You know, it's an AI voice, but it sounds incredible. He sounds so full of emotion and so raw. I highly recommend it. So that voice actor was just wasted working on Spongebob. He should have absolutely had a solo career or something. Yeah, he really should. <laughs> yeah, I really recommend it. Mm. <laughs> so what's new with you? Any new music that you've been listening to or anything like that? Oh, uh, let's see. Or films? Um, or TV? Films, let's see. Um, I think I mentioned to you before the movie Long Legs. Oh, yeah. I love that movie now. Oh, right. Seen it loads again and again because there's all sorts of confusing small things in it. Really enjoying that. Wow. Another movie I watched recently that I think you might know is uh, called Midsummer. Ah, uh, I want to see that. I haven't seen it yet and I'm scared of watching it, but I also want to see it. It's not very scary. Uh, it's. I've heard it's quite gory. Like bloody. Um, there is a, there is a tiny little bit of gore in it. It's more disturbing. Oh, right. More than anything else. Um, the thing about it is, I would just watch the movie, but there is a seven-hour-long analysis video of this movie on YouTube right. that I've watched because basically, really, every single thing in every single scene means something. Oh, wow. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. It's the same with the movie the director did before that. It's called Hereditary, if you know that movie as well. Yeah, I haven't. I'm not going to watch that. That looks really scary. Yes, that's very scary. Yeah. Midsummer's not so scary, but it's very disturbing, that's for sure. Wait, is Hereditary the one with Ethan Hawke? <laughs> no, that is, that's sinister. That's it. They've all got really, you know, hereditary, sinister, insidious. Yeah. They all have these one word names and I get confused. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not going to watch hereditary. Uh, hereditary is the one with uh, Tony Collette. Right. And uh, Gabriel Byrne is is in it as well. Oh, I love Gabriel Byrne. Well, watch it for Gabriel Byrne, but to be fair, it, it scared me a lot. I, I wouldn't recommend it to people who... Fair enough. Okay, I'm definitely not going to watch that then. I think that's the one my, my boyfriend really likes. I think he likes that. Got it. Excellent. Yeah. Have you seen Chronicle? I watched that last night. No, I haven't. I, I think I've heard the name, but I don't know too much about it. I didn't. Um, it's from like 2012, I want to say. Um, mm -hmm. And I won't say anything about it. Let's move on. But yeah, it is good. Fair enough. I was surprised by it. I, yeah, it surprised me. Official review. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Today, we're going to be talking about series, um, different kinds of media series and what they are, what they're made of, because a lot of our students seem to be a little bit confused about series. For sure. I guess, well, the confusion probably starts with the pronunciation. Yes. Is it one series, two series? Is? It is not two series. <laughs> it's an easy mistake to make. But even though this sounds like it doesn't make sense, we use the word series 
for whether it's one, two, three, however many, we just say the same sound series. Yeah, so I could say that I've watched one Korean TV series this year, or I could say that I've watched six Korean TV series this year, and the word series would be the same in both sentences, right? That's right, yeah. One series, two series, three series, four series. There's no difference at all there. So now we know how to pronounce this word. What is a series? Well, you can have a book series, a TV series, a film series. You could have like a game series as well, couldn't you? Yeah, you can have a game series as well. Can you think of an example of a famous book series? Uh, I guess Harry Potter. I always use that example with students if I'm talking about any book. So Yeah, yeah, yeah that's super famous, isn't it? Mm. So there are seven books in that series. And it's a film series too, but I think there are actually 11 films in the Harry Potter film series compared to seven books in the book series. So a series is a collection of things. A collection of films or it's a collection of books or games, um, which means they're, they're all based in the same world with the same or similar characters and they're all related or connected in some way, right? Um, what other famous film series can you think of? Uh, Lord of the Rings comes to mind. Yeah, That's my favourite film series ever. Oh, right. And uh, pretty famous. But yeah, there's three movies in that series and uh, there's three movies in the series The Hobbit, uh, which is also in the same world. We've got Marvel film series. That's got over like maybe more than 30 films in it or something like that. Right. And I guess Mission Impossible. Uh, mm. There's eight films in that series so far at least. Right. Yeah. We've also got like Jurassic Park, mm. Back to the Future. There are three films in that series. Uh, Twilight, Shrek, <laughs> The Hunger Games. So these are all film series. Okay. Let's talk about TV series. Sure, yeah. So just as a book series is a collection of books, a film series is a collection of films, and a TV series is a collection of episodes. Right. So uh, Squid Game, for example, that's a TV series, and I think it has nine episodes. Yes, although I, th I think they're making more, or they have made more, I think. Ooh, really? Okay, so uh, season two officially announced, which sounds great. Yeah, I think there's going to be a season two. And hmm. that's it. TV series can have lots of different seasons, which is kind of smaller groups of episodes in the series. So the Korean drama, The Glory, which was so good, huh. um, had two seasons. And there were eight episodes in each season. And I don't know if they're planning to make a third season, but I don't think they need to. Have you watched it? Have you watched The Glory? No, sorry. I think a student mentioned it to me before, but I, I haven't seen it. It's really good. I'm just trying to think of a TV series now that's actually based on a book series. And um, the only obvious one I can think of is Game of Thrones. Yes. Yeah, Game of Thrones. Right. There were 73 episodes. I just Googled that. Very nice. Over eight seasons of the TV series. And there are five books in the book series so far. There's only going to be five books in that series. <laughs> Please don't say that. Uh, Please don't say that. Oh, you can't, you can't get on with it. We're supposed to have two you more. can't get on with it. <laughs> we need more. Uh, so we should probably also mention the we also use the phrase TV show as well as TV series. Right. And in the UK, some people might say TV programme, but that is only for TV. Yes, that's right. We say film series and book series, but we can say TV series, TV show or TV programme. Yeah. Mm, absolutely. I don't think they say TV programme in the US, do they? Um, not that I know of, no. I think it's more of a British thing to say. Yeah. So have you read the Game of Thrones book series? Uh, I didn't get all the way through, but I think I read a few of them. And you don't think he's ever going to finish them? No, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> so how many days has it, has it... I would like to get counter up for how many days it has been since the last book. I think someone said recently that... It's been years. I read it in Korea, so it's at least 14 years, yeah. I think. I read the last one when I was living in Korea. I saw a video recently where I think someone pointed out that World War II was fought and won 
in a shorter period of time than it's taken him to so far write this book. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if he'll ever finish it. I really hope he does. But what are your you so you said before that um Lord of the Rings was your favorite film series, yes, right? Absolutely. So which which film is your favorite one of the three? Um probably the first one which is called The Fellowship of the Ring, mm. although the middle one is still absolutely amazing, I think, but not that's my favorite. Two Towers is my favorite. Two Towers is your favorite. Oh, okay, yeah. awesome. The the thing is, if I had to pick like uh, an actual period of time throughout the three movies, I think is the best. The end of the third movie is just for the last half hour. Everything is perfect and has me weeping like a child every time I see it. Really, I hate the last half hour. Why? <laughs> Because it's so strange. It's not strange at all. It's so strange. Everybody's standing around smiling, and but kind of in a weird way, and I just think it's quite weird. They're smiling because they have saved the world. <laughs> Wouldn't you smile <laughs> if the world had been saved? <laughs> I would, yeah. I'm a very smiley person. I just think it's a little bit strange. But I did ha- like it, and I was happy, and I wanted them to win, obviously. Yeah. But... Um, but yeah, have you read the the books as well? Yeah, yeah, I've uh, read the books uh, a few times. That's one of my favourite books, although it definitely is longer than it needs to be. Yeah, it's very long, isn't it? What about um, TV series? What's your favourite um, TV series? Okay, so I think if I had to only pick one TV series, I would probably say Chernobyl. Oh, really? Yeah. The one that came out a few years ago? Yeah, the BBC one. Mm. That just... That's one of the best TV series I've ever seen. Wow. I absolutely love that. And if I got to pick another, I would probably pick the adaptation of War and Peace that uh, BBC did in 2016. Wow. So you love these um, BBC adaptations. It seems so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of, of Russian, you know, yeah. stories. Or, of, of Russian stories. Well, technically, although... Chernobyl, I suppose, is technically in Ukraine. But oh, yeah. Yeah. So if we just pop back to something like Harry Potter. Sure. Have you read the Harry Potter book series? Oh, yeah. Over and over and over. Oh, so which is your favourite book in the series? Maybe maybe the first one again. Oh, really? Well, this is because I'm very much a, a child at heart. <laughs> and uh, so I kind of really like the feeling of, you know, being able to put myself back at school in that kind of time of Harry Potter. And as they get older and grow up a little bit, I start to feel it's not quite as special as a story for me. Like not as magical. Yeah, uh, in some way. Yeah, I just like, um, I think I like the first book as well, just because everything is new. We're getting introduced Mm. to everything in this awesome world for the first time. So I'd pick number one. What would you pick? I really like the third book in the series, The Prisoner of Azkaban. I like the book. Oh, that is... Yeah, and I really like the film as well, um, which was the third film, wasn't it? The third film in the series. Yes. I think the books matched up, didn't they, with the film series? So like book one and film one you had, book two and film two, book three and film three, book four and film four. Mm. But I think after that, I think it started, the film started getting kind of like two films for one book. I think, wasn't it? Um, I think it was, they did number six and then the last book, which is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, they split that into two movies. Was it just that one? Just that one. Oh. Just that one. Half-Blood Prince is just one movie as far as I'm... What about Order of the Phoenix? Is that... That's just one as as far as I'm aware. Just one as well. Oh, right. It's the worst one in my opinion, the (laughs) Order of the Phoenix. I can't remember it, so... Oh, you probably remember it's just the horrible person in charge of the school called Umbridge. Oh, oh my God, I hate her. Yeah, so that's that's basically all of the fifth movie. Nice. But yeah, just thinking about kind of different series that people might know, that our students might know, you know, like Friends and Modern Mm. Family. Yes. You know, they are TV series that have several seasons. I don't know how many seasons Friends had, maybe seven or eight, maybe more. Like 20 or something. Oh, did it? Okay, more than that. Something like that. Yeah, they had a lot. So yeah, just try to remember, I guess, that series are like collections of things. Yes. And the individual things in that series could be like the the books in the series or the films in the series or the episodes in the TV series, right? Yeah. Yeah, great. Lovely to see you, Rob, as always. Thank you to our listeners for listening once again. Um, Let us know your favourite film series, book series and TV series, game series in the comments. Mm. And we'll see you again next time. See you all again. See you later, Hannah. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. See you.